Pakistan's appeal for immense international response to floods. Pakistan has appealed to the international community for an immense humanitarian response to unprecedented flooding that has left at least 1,265 people dead. According to initial government estimates, the rain and flooding have cost $10 billion in damage. The scale of devastation is massive and requires an immense humanitarian response for 33 million people. For this, I appeal to my fellow Pakistanists, Pakistan's expatriates, and the international community to help Pakistans in these hours of need. The federal planning minister, Asan Ibal, said at the news conference. Multiple officials and experts have blamed the unusual moonsun rain and flooding on climate change, including UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, who call on the world to stop sleepwalking through the deadly crisis. He, while visit Pakistan on the 9th of September, to tour flood hit area and meet officials. The United Nations and Pakistan jointly issue an appeal for $160 million in emergency funding to help the millions of people affected by the flood, which have damaged more than one million homes. Pakistan's National Disaster Management Authority, in its latest report on Saturday, counted 57 more deaths from flood-affected areas. Bringing the total death toll since moonsun rain began in mid-June to 1,265, including 441 children. Prime Minister Shahab Sharif earlier appealed for an aid receive a quick response from the international community, which sent planes loaded with relief good, a French aircraft carrying relief good, launched in Islamabad on Saturday. And was received by National Health Services Minister Abdul Qadi Patel. Patel said the relief goods sent by France include medicines and large pumps to reduce water level. He said France had also sent a team of doctors and experts. Pakistan has established a national flood response and coordination center to distribute the aid. Imbel is supervising the army-led center. The ministry said rains this monsoon season have lashed most area of Balochistan and Shind province, as well as part of Khyber, Pakhuntawa, and Punjab province. The Gilgit Baltistan territory was also affected. The torrential rain and subsequent flash flood caused massive damage to the infrastructure, road, electricity, and communication network. Ibal said the government was working to get the country back to normal as soon as possible, but that the Pakistanis government could not do it alone. Magjan Jaffa Ibal said in the news conference that over the last four days, 29 planes loaded with relief goods arrived in Pakistan from Turkey, the UAE, China, Qatar, Uzbekistan, Jordan, Turkmenistan, and other countries. Military spokesperson Ma Jen Itifa Baba said rescuers were supported by the militaries are continuing to rescue and relief operation. He said army invasion air force and navy troops were using boats and helicopter to evacuate people from remote regions and to deliver aids. Baba said the army had established 147 relief camps, shelterings, and feeding more than 50,000 displaced people, while 250 medical camps have provided help to 83,000 people so far. Health officials have expressed concern about the spread of waterborne diseases among homeless people living in relief camps and in tents alongside roads. The U.S. military central command has said it will send an assessment team to Islamabad to see what support it can provide. The United States announced a $30 million worth of aid for the flood victims earlier this week. Two members of the U.S. Congress, Shayla Jackson and Tom Suzies, were expected to arrive in Pakistan on Sunday to visit the flood-affected areas and meet officials. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.